behavior is very gentle um, because I think I have a soft voice and when I meet with people, I try and convey myself very softly. Um, and I think that may be true in large part, um, but I think what people often don't see is that um, when I feel strongly about something, I really push for it with every breath that I have. So actually my biggest role model is my grandfather. The reasons why I view him as such a mentor is because he really viewed the world through an incredibly idealistic lens. Um, he cared unconditionally and deeply for people. Um, and he really had the capacity to connect with people wherever he went. Um, my mom always tells this story of um, when she's like running errands in my hometown, like people will recognize her last name because it's my grandpa's last name. It will always be like, oh, are you his daughter? Like, oh, he gave me this you know, advice last week or we're talking about this next week. And um, when I was young, that was really formative to see how someone can be so embedded in community in that way. Um, to be able to mean something to people who would otherwise be strangers. Um, and that's something that, that sticks with me all the time, um, that it's possible to try and be that, to be someone who can show care for others, um, even if you're not a part of their life. So I have an artistic collaboration with a friend um, where we make zines about transformative justice and community accountability. Um, and I think that that collaboration has allowed me to try and imagine more clearly what I want from a different world, you know, from a world that has not yet been born. Um, and I think that being able to make art, being able to take the time with this other person who I really deeply care for, um, to make tangible resources about how to strengthen communities and how to address harm in tangible and clear ways outside, outside of, of systems of justice that are often really focused on punishment. I think I also am really proud of it because before this collaboration, I never considered myself an artist. Um, I've like dabbled in like fiber and textile art for years, um, but I have never produced things that were meant to, that, that I meant for people to see other than like my close friends. Um, and so in working with, with this other person and on creating resources that we wanted people to see beyond just our own circles, um, I also developed a sense of, of clarity that I also can make art, um, that it's something that is worthwhile and, and important to me. Um, and then it can take on meaning, you know, outside myself as well. I think for me, you know, love and care appear when we show up for people. I think, yeah, when I show love, it tends to be in, in doing things for others, um, wanting to make things for them or wanting to change the circumstances of their lives for the better. Um, so in that really like tangible, active way of, of trying to make change for them, I, I think that's how I tend to show love. Um, and I think it is also how I receive it often in collaborations, especially. Um, I think I find that feeling of love in the act of working with people towards a common goal or towards a common purpose. Um, I think those are times when I feel most cared for in my life. Home is tied in that feeling of building community. Um, even though I'll, you know, when I move to different places, I'll miss how it felt in other spaces. Um, I think I find that sense of home in the knowledge that I'll be able to create that community for myself again, wherever I go. Would it mind being a dragon fruit? Um, because they're very, I'm, I'm, I'm drawn to the bright colors um, and the spiky, but not sharp exterior. Like it's easy to hold them, but they're still very visually arresting. I would like to be remembered as someone who cares, someone who didn't let things slip by out of fear, having done things maybe sometimes to extremes, um, but out of the motivation that they were important.